Hello class, this is a continuation of binomial expansions part 3. We've already done one, two, three, four different examples. Let's do the last two. So you can pause the video and try these yourselves at any time. So here we go. Um, for this one, now it's getting a little bit more trickier because we have 3x. It's no longer just a single term by itself, it's a coefficient and an algebraic term. This still doesn't change the pattern, it's just that we need to be a little bit like even more careful when we apply it. So here we go. Just as before, we had x plus y. It was x to the power of 4 first. But this time, instead of x, we have 3x to the power of 4. Always going to use plus for now until we change it later on. So then it becomes 3x to the power of 3 times negative 2 to the power of 1 plus 3x squared. Because so, remember, it's always decreasing by 1, but then the next term, negative 2, is going to increase by 1. So negative 2 squared plus 3x to the power of 1, which is just 3x, times negative 2 cubed. Plus, the last one is going to become 3x to the power of 0 which is just to, you know one time, so we don't really need to write that. Negative 2 to the power of 4. And there we have it. Let's now take a look at what row we are in. That's 4. So it's going to become 1 times, but as you've previously seen in these, we don't really worry about the 2 on the end. And this is going to become 1, 4 times, 6 times, 4 times, and 1 times, but we don't worry about that one. So let's expand these very carefully. In case you've forgotten, with index laws, this becomes 3 to the power of 4, x to the power of 4. Just for time's sake, I'm going to do this one in my physical calculator. So 3 to the power of 4 is 81. That's 81 x to the power of 4. Plus, likewise, this is going to become 3 cubed x cubed. Oh, actually, this one I'll expand out. 3 cubed x cubed times negative 2 times 4. So looking at just the numbers, 4 times 3 cubed times negative 2. So I'm going to write or well, type all of these out into my calculator. So 4 times 3 cubed times negative 2. All of this becomes negative 216x cubed. So once again, I'm only typing in the numbers and I'm leaving x cubed as it was. Moving on to the next one, plus, remember this, this becomes 3 squared x squared negative 2 squared times 6. So typing in just the numbers here. So 6 times 3 squared times, now how I'm writing this in looks like this. I'm typing it in like this in my calculator. It's very important that you put the negative inside the bracket. So negative 2 squared. This is also 216, but this time it's positive, plus 216x squared. Moving right along. I'm sure you're getting the pattern here. 
This is 4 times 3, that's nice and easy, that's going to be 12 times negative 2 cubed. Negative 2 cubed is negative 8, that one I can do all in my head. That's going to become negative 96x. And this last one is just going to become negative 2 to the power of 4. It's an even power, so negatives, negatives become positive. So it's going to become plus 16. And that there is the full expansion of this expression here. Let's do this one last time. You can pause the video and try it yourselves, because I'm going to go through this rather quickly now. So here we go. How I go about doing this, I just go x cubed plus x squared root whoops root 3 to the power of 1 plus x1 root 3 squared plus x0 which we don't need root 3 cubed adding the powers in this becomes cubed so 1 3 3, 1, and expanding these even further, this becomes, well this just stays x cubed, this becomes 3 root 3 x squared, very tricky in this one, root 3 squared is 3, so 3 times 3 is 9 x, and this last one, um, root 3 cubed is the same as whoops, root 3 squared times root 3. But as we saw, root 3 squared is 3. So the, so the last number is 3 root 3. That one wasn't so difficult, but overall I hope you've seen how we can use Pascal's triangle to very quickly expand binomial groups. Hope to see you in the next video. Best of luck.